video. So the story with You've Got a Fight is that, now I think we might disagree here, Yeah. is that they wrote it, right, as a joke. So they didn't like Fogue. They didn't like all these bullies and the jocks. As you could probably tell, they were very different, you yeah. know, and they were smart asses and all, all that stuff, right? So they wrote it as a joke, and they wrote well, it— they, according to them, they wrote it to make fun of those people. Right, right. And, a satire on those guys that they hate. Right. Right, that they just thought were worthless, you know, all those dudes. Then Rick Rubin came. Now, this part is true. Rick Rubin found the lyrics, right? Because they were all, you know, they're all hanging out together and stuff. And he saw the lyrics. And then while they were out, he laid down the drums and the guitar. And then they came back and they're like, oh, yeah, we like this, right? We like the, you know, why, why, why wouldn't you? I mean, it's a good beat. It's got that angst, right? And then they lay down the tracks and, you know, history was made. You gotta fight for your right to win. So you don't necessarily agree with that. No. I, don't, I think that that is revisionist history. Now, I'm going to confess here, I am not, not an expert Beastie Boys fan. I really don't know much about them, all things considered. Uh, I mean, I lived through the entire Beastie Boys era, but they have said, oh, we couldn't believe that people took this seriously. Well, having listened to the song recently, not just back then, having also rewatched the video recently, there's nothing in the song recording or that video to give you a cue that they, that this is a gag or that it's a put on or that it's anything but them being wild and crazy party dudes. And I think it's more likely, this is my suspicion, that at some point soon after that, they realized we're smart guys. We're not, we're not dumb boneheads. We're not jocks. We don't want to be known with this for eternity as these guys that like celebrated being a moron. Uh, and so they kind of thought, well, we were joking. But I think the reality is, I think they were kind of playing a role at that time. And the other, my argument, my evidence here is, they're also assholes in Cookie Puss. Where's the supervisor at? I, I, I got the number anyway, baby. Hang up on me. If you listen mm -hmm. to Cookie Puss, no, they were. it's like a prototype for Fight for Your Right to Party. It's like those guys from Cookie Puss then went to a party. It's like they're... Hey, if you like what you hear, like and subscribe. It really means a lot, and we would love to have you coming back every week. Thank you. Hey, please like and subscribe.